The scientists coax six of us into a sealed room at the University of Worcester. Here goes. And I'd been advised to blow my nose to be in peak condition. So this is the new odour lamp and we're being tested rigorously against the clock to detect even the faintest whiff. The odours are being pumped through each of these individual ports. I have to decide which one it's coming through and how strongly I can detect it, either if I'm certain or just have an inkling. It's a, like a voting panel for noses. So we take a smell, we put it into the voting panel and everyone has a sniff and their reaction is recorded and that's how we quantify how much smell was in the sample. Be it pungent factory smells, sewage or the lush leather of a new car seat, companies can be fined if the odours rise above accepted levels. So Air Spectrum, a Worcester-based firm, is making money by testing their samples. And the University of Worcester is also benefiting from the research. We're most famous for the pollen forecast which monitors pollen in the air. Odour is an important part of the air, uh, of the atmosphere, so uh, this fits in completely. This isn't just the nose, it's home to around 6 million cells detecting odours, cells which are renewed once a month. Well that's the end of the test. Justin, how did I do? Very well. Um, in fact your detection level is quite high. Um, if you continued with the test it may turn out that you may be a little bit too sensitive to sit on our panel, so um, you've got a very good nose. Excellent, thank you very much. It's one branch of science where humans have outdone computers and who knows where it will lead. Ben Godfrey, BBC Midlands Today, Worcester.